All right, so this is a video on how to flush and refill the radiator coolant. First, we're gonna need the car raised up on jacks. Check. So for whatever reason, the very first step in the manual is to put this on heat. Next, we're gonna drain the coolant. I got my little homemade pan right here. I just cut the front side of a coolant bottle. Make sure your engine is cool, it's not hot. That way, the coolant won't spray up on you when you open the cap. So, we're gonna open the cap. And we're gonna drain it from the bottom. There you go. So, the Helms manual implies that there really isn't a drain bolt for the Prelude SH. But, if you have the base model, it's gonna be wherever your um, oil filter is, right next to it. I'm gonna show you a diaphragm so you have a really good idea on where it is. All right, next we'll remove the reservoir, we'll drain it and fill it up with coolant. Drain this. All right, next we'll refill this to the max line. It's very important that you get the blue coolant this is specifically for Hondas. All right, so now it's at about the max line. Let's put it back in. Replace the reservoir. Replace the reservoir tube thingy. All right, so next we're gonna have to loosen this bleeder bolt right here. This is a 12 millimeter bolt. All right, we're gonna make sure that the bottom drain plug is screwed back on. So next what we're gonna do is fill up the radiator with coolant. And as we're filling this up, right, we gotta keep an eye on that bleeder bolt we just opened. So get your funnel, unless you're a pro, then you can do it with that one and your choice of coolant. All right, let me show you something. See how this is kind of overfilled with coolant? I'm gonna show you that there's no air in the system by loosening this bleeder bolt. See, it's just pouring out, tighten it back up. All right, so with the bleeder bolt tightened and the radiator cap still off, we're gonna go ahead and start the car and let it warm up. And to speed up the process, put your AC on full blast. Turn off AC though. <laughs> we just wanted to reach operating temperature. We're gonna keep filling up the radiator with coolant as it goes lower. Um, and you can keep squeezing that hose on the top to get the air bubbles out of the system. So pretty much we're just waiting for the fans to come on and then we're good. All right, so that's the proper procedure on how to do the coolant flush. <laughs> what a jerk. If you found that useful, good for you. If not, whatever. It's for myself anyways. Yeah. All right, guys. Later.